So that was um, Everlasting Love by The Love Affair. Steve Ellis, if you get a chance to check out the footage of The Love Affair playing this, um, it's on YouTube. Steve Ellis, the lead singer, looks about 12. Yet yeah, there he is with this massive, powerful voice belting out this song. Uh, I just want to thank Anne Burflo, subscriber to this channel, for suggesting this song. What a brilliant tune. Thanks so much, Anne. So here is the tutorial on how to play it. So what I've done with it is I've just dropped it down a couple of steps from E major to D major, just so it's a little bit easier to uh, play it on the uke. Um, having said that, it's still a little bit tricky, unfortunately. But here we go. God loves a trier, so let's give it a go. So we've got a D major chord to begin with. So you use your first finger on the second fret, fourth string, second finger, second fret, third string, third finger, second fret, second string. So that's a D major. Next up, we've got an A major. So you use your first finger on the first fret, third string, second finger, second fret, fourth string. Then we've got an A sus4. So you leave your second finger where it is and you're placing your third finger to the second fret, third string. So that's A sus4. Next up, we've got the dreaded E major chord. Now, unfortunately, uh, sometimes I uh, substitute the E7 for an E major chord. It doesn't really work in this song, so we've got to play the E major. So you can either play, play an E major bar chord or an E major chord that doesn't involve the bar. So first of all, the bar chord is using your first finger Cross all the strings on the second fret, then use the top of your third finger or the top phalange, if you like, to press down on the fourth fret, fourth, third and second strings like so. And that's an E major chord. If you don't do bar chords and you don't have any luck with them, this is how to play the E major um, normal chord in first position. So you use your first finger, second fret, first string. Second finger, fourth fret, fourth string. Third finger, fourth fret, third string. And fourth finger, fourth fret, second string. So that's the E major chord that doesn't involve barring your finger across the second fret. Next up, we've got a G major. A lot easier chord to play this one. First finger, second fret, third string. Second finger, second fret, first string. Third finger, third fret, second string. Then the easiest, easiest of all chords to play at C6. Just complete open strings. Then we've got this chord, which is called a C minor six. And I don't think I've ever used it in any tutorials that I've done on this channel up until now. So to play a C minor six, you use your first finger on the second fret, fourth string. And then again, it's kind of a bar chord because you're having to press down with your third finger on the third fret, third, second, and first strings. So this is what it should sound like. So that's a C minor six. Last but not least, we've got a B flat. So use your first finger on the first fret, first and second strings, second finger, second fret, third string, and third finger, third fret, fourth string. Now, Strumming wise, that's all the chords out of the way. Now we need to have a look at the uh, strumming. Sorry, I did miss out an E minor. Oh, I can't even say it, never mind, play it. E minor chord, first finger, second fret, first string, second finger, third fret, uh, second string, and third finger, fourth fret, third string. Don't want to miss out the E minor chord. Um, now the strumming pattern, you can either keep it really simple, Just downstrokes, absolutely fine. What I've decided to do with this is just give it a bit of a swing beat. So this is the strumming pattern that I'm choose, I chose to use. So I'll play it slowly. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. So I'm kind of using that uh, swing style just to make it a little bit more easier to play on the uke. Because sometimes, because this song's quite staccato. 
open up your eyes, dare to drink a change. It's almost almost got a kind of uh, Motown feel to it. So I've decided to make it a swing a little bit more, which is, means that you can get more of a rhythm going in your, um, your rhythm hand. Okay, so what we're going to do is start off by playing a bar on D. And then a bar on A. And then a bar on G. And then two strums on E minor. One strum on A sus4. One strum on A. And then we go back to the beginning. We do the D again. So you've got the four beats on D or one bar. One bar on A. One bar on G. Two strums on E minor. One on A sus4. One on A, and then a final strum on D. Or if you want, you can kind of carry on just doing a strumming pattern on the D. So I kind of do two bars on D at the end. So this is what you should have. And this is with the, uh, the uh, swing rhythm as well. So you've got a D, A, straight into the verse so what we're doing for the verse now we go to the G chord go now to C6 open strings straight leaving C minor 6 hurt when they back to G go I went to C6 way just when you C minor 6 knee to G. So, filled with re, C6, great. I come, C minor 6, back, begging, back to G. You, forgive for C6, C6, sorry. Where's the C minor 6? Love, we once. Now we go to the E major this time. New. And then two strums on the A6, A6 4. Ba. Two strums on the A. Now we're into the chorus, so we go to the D. Open up your A eyes, then you'll real G lies. Here I stand with E minor, my ever A6 4. Last A, ting, D, love, lead you by my A side, girl, you'll be my G, bride, you'll never be D, E minor, night, ever, aces for last A, ting, D, love, from the very A star, open up your G, heart, be a lasting E minor, part of ever, aces for last A, a ting D love real love will so this is the middle bit so you stay on the D real love will C6 last forever now to B flat real love will D last forever now we go back to G C6 C6 C minor 6 to G. G, C6, C minor 6, and now we go to the E, A sus4, A, then back to D, where life's river A flows, no one really G knows, till someone's there E minor, show the way to A sus4, last A, ting, D, love, like the sun that A shines, endless 
Honestly, if G shine, you'll all, you always will be E minor, minus seven, aces four, last eighteen, D, love, where the loves are A gone, ours will still be G strong, we have a very E minor horn ever, aces four, last eighteen, D, love, real love, will C6, last forever, B flat, real love, will D, last forever, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, back to D, open up your A eyes, then you'll realize, here I stand with E minor, my ever, aces four, last A, ding, D, love, Lead you by my A side, girl. You'll be my G bride. You'll never be D E minor, night ever. Aces for last A ding D. Love from the very A star. Open up your G heart. Be a lasting E minor part of ever. Aces for last A ding D. Love. Sorry, real love will C6 last forever. B flat, real love will D last forever. So it doesn't end. <laughs> Anyone that knows the song knows that it doesn't end with that little med middle section. Um, you just basically carry on playing the choruses uh, and repeat to the end till it fades out. But uh, I've included a in, uh, fade out here, so I've just basically finished with the middle section. Real love will last forever, and if you want to slow down. Real love will last forever. So it's an ending at least anyway, so uh, you don't have to worry about the fade out. Okay, so as you can tell, there's quite a lot of chord changes there. And there are some tricky chords, so it's a song that you might have to work at a little bit. If you're a beginner and you're not used to some of these bar chords, um, you might it might take a little bit of getting to uh, grips with. But persevere with it and I'm sure you'll get there. Now, as always, I'll just hold these up because I do use my own chord sheets. So basically, I, um, I have a listen to the song, see what key I want to do it in. And then I put all the chords together myself so I don't nick them offline, uh, online somewhere and find other people's chords. I prefer to use my own, of which these are in the description to this video. Um, so if you click on the title to the video, all the chords are there in front of you. Take a screenshot, add it to your own portfolio of songs that uh, you enjoy playing. OK, then. So we're going to have a go at this from the top now. So I'm going to try and keep it a, a a gentle pace because I know that um, some people might find it a little bit tricky to uh, keep up with. So here we go. So one, two, three, four. Open up your eyes 
for you and for anybody else that's enjoyed it but it was Anne that requested it so thank you very much for that Anne and if you or anybody else on this channel uh, thinks of a song and he hasn't done that one ask me I'll do my best to put together a tutorial for you as quickly as possible thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you again soon bye bye <laughs>